had a wolf. Right. And our hungry was like picking through characters before. I'm not sure if they settled, but I am completely wrong. It looks like it's our hungry's wolf. Oh. <laughs> and Cooties. Unless, uh, unless somehow the names are switched up. But AR, I'm thinking, is our hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that's that's the case. And yeah, yeah. players on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we got to so switch. So it's going to be uh, Kugi with the Mewtwo. Mewtwo's not a character we get to see very often. I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy to see him on stream. Okay. We got, yeah. Nice recovery stall. Um, yeah. But yeah, Mewtwo, definitely a rarity of a character. Not as strong as their past iteration, but definitely st still a strong character. Has some mix. Right. I mean, I mean. Can we just talk about the fact that this is the third Smash game uh, he's been in? And he was fine in Smash 4. He's pretty good. Like, yeah. I think just, just below A tier, maybe, like, yeah, I think it was a, a solid. I think it was a solid A tier. Yeah, you know, carried by Abadongo. Um, that, that, and that's a, that's a player to be carried by. Right, absolutely. Wadi. And then, yeah, we got Wadi in this game who's pretty much holding it down. But, you know, very few other, other players really using this character to uh, his maximum potential, I think. I think he's got a, like, really good telling of the – Glass Cannon archetype. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. This character is st such a lightweight, and but can kill so early and able to go off a lot deeper than what a lot of people expect. So we're not, we might not gonna see it right here, but Kugi can go out and just snipe Wolf's recovery with a bear and able to shark out there. Right, we were seeing attempts for a down throw forward air. That forward air hits like a semi truck, man. Oh no, it definitely does. Yeah, sweet spot of those uh, the, those up airs and back airs are pretty strong too. But the first stock will be taken by our hungry with the wolf. Yeah, that dash attack definitely a strong wolf tool. And this is what we want to see. We're gonna see wolf start to rack up damage. You see two hits already at twenty three percent. Yeah, and man. Yeah, wolf just hits so hard. And not just one hit. Those keep those hits keep on keep on coming. Yeah. Especially against a character like Mewtwo, who's stupid big and stupid floaty. He is he is the uh, combo character's favorite matchup. Yeah. Oh, okay. Getting hit by the shadow ball right there, but 70, 171 percent. Wolf ain't that heavy. No, he's not. It, it might he might have some steel boots, but. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and on top of that, Basil's just or sorry, Kugi's looking for that. That one hit that he's gonna be able to take to take the stock with. Yeah, and so this is where our hungry is like just taking advantage of Basil, the ability to like do the my turn your turn basis. So our hungry is just like attacking and then like baiting out, and Kugi thinks it's their turn, but it's actually not. Our hungry just punishes them for like a false like punish, and just correctly spacing their aerials. And you already see living to 181, 198 percent. That's a good wolf stock. Yeah. And 59% on their last stock. So he ran away with that. Absolutely did its work. Uh, now Kugi's going to have to take two stocks away with this much damage on their first one against a character who, like Wolf who has a plethora of really good killing options. Oh, yeah, definitely. But 59%. Did nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, don't. And damage is still stacking up. Yeah, if they caught that disabled, that would have been a stock, actually. Uh, yeah, I think it would have been. I mean, the smash attacks that Mewtwo has at his disposal are incredibly... Yeah. Diverse. They keep buffing them, so they yeah. better be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, this down smashing is, is not strong enough. Up that up throw? No. Nah. So fast faller, fast fallers die slower off the top. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So that's the weight differential coming into play there. Wolf might be a lightweight, but that fast faller archetype still makes him quite survivable in those situations. But the dash attack gonna be trading and taking that game. Right. Wait, did he trade with Border and still live? Yeah. yeah. Wolf, Wolf's crazy. That's insane. Our hungry's crazy. Wait, so hang on, hang on. Yeah, You're yeah. telling me he got hit by Shadow Scratch at the ledge That's what he got at that percent. He ended the game at 160 and ended up in the middle. Yeah. Well, how did that happen? Our hungry's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled some black magic out at that point. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm for it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If Black Magic gets you first place, let's go, Our Hungry. <laughs> yeah, so, so Our Hungry taking the first game. Yeah, in a two stock fashion. Yeah, Sponsored by YouTube.com. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Go, go, uh, go sub right now. Yeah. Literally cost you nothing. All right. So I want to see if Kugi can adapt. That's the big thing with um, players, like the first round players or like the lower seed players, is the ability to adapt right. to like these situations and like develop new game plans on like what went wrong and like defies new strategies. Yeah, I, I think that's the most important thing you can learn. You know, tech skill's important, yeah, execution, you kind of need that, but 
having that mentality of, okay, what do I got to do to get this win? I lost here. How did I lose? Why did I lose? And how do I fix that? That's what sets players apart. Yeah, and this is already going a lot better. Now yep. getting that disable, we're going to okay. see a back throw. Not going to kill just yet. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of oh. surprised we didn't see like a down smash or something like that. Yeah. But it didn't look like they have time because they did do it off stage. Right. Yeah, that's fair. And at the very least, it's a it's a free recovery, and it puts uh, I mean, the grab gives you stage control. That's fine, but that back air hitting the dome. Yeah, and you saw our hungry bait out, bait that out. Do a fair on shield. You can't grab that fair at at that position, and it's just back air them for it. Right. Yeah. That, that back air is such a good move as well. It, it it's got a long hitbox. It it pushes Wolf away from where he's hitting, so you know it's safe. It's really easy to space. It's auto cancelable. Got some dummy good hitboxes and and, and just damage sometimes as well. Yeah. All right, catching the jump right there. And it seems like Kugi's been liking to jump a lot from ledge, so All Hungry scouted that out and just bait, hitting them back with Nair. Yeah, okay, but there's a set Shadow Scratch for the kill. Yeah. Um, you know, Kugi could, again, one stock away from moving the, this thing up. We saw it happen last match uh, right at the end, but oh. they really got to figure out how to get around that reflector with the Shadow Ball. Yeah. Um, I think using the Shadow Ball as an offstage edge guarding tool might be a good option. You know, get a little charge, try to go down there, because at the start of a Wolf's recovery, he kind of sits in place for a little bit, whether it be the uh, Wolf Flash or, yeah. you know, even Fire Wolf. Um, you know, I, I would like to see that being utilized a little bit. But Shadow Ball just being kind of a non-factor in this matchup because of the uh, the Reflector. Yeah, no, definitely. It's also, like, you got to just switch up your timings of Shadow Ball because the big thing is, like, with Shadow Ball is the threat of Shadow Ball. Like, throwing out these mini ones are okay. Like, if you charge them, oh. Wow, man, what a good read. Into his fist. Hit him, like. Hit him like Bruce Lee, man. Yeah, knocked his knocked his jaw off. Yeah. <laughs>